Hello, gamer. Welcome to ZGC. My name is Aurelius, and today we're playing Evolution 2 Battle for Utopia. Um, and as you can see by what's on your screen, there is a what next picture up there. I know, so many updates so close together. It's, it's insane. <laughs> But uh, today we're going to be diving into all of the details that have been released over on the dev page over there on Facebook. And it starts with this. They do plan to release it mid-July, which means next week, most likely, um, there will be a new daily activity called Hunt for the Crawlers, um, which will be able to get a new armor. Uh, from that uh, Dominion mobilization another new activity where the Dominion will try to take back their sectors that you've already completed so for now that will just be Annihilator and Dominion Gate but as more Dominion sectors open up you know the mobilization will get much much broader um, and we can actually recruit sense for our base defense in this next update as well so oh, that's gonna be tons and tons of fun right there and um we'll get chips for our base defense as well because anybody who knows that does tournaments quite frequently base defenses kind of suck right now <laughs> um and there's no real way to improve them so uh, with the hunt for crawlers uh it will be a new daily activity um the citadel will start creating a new armor um using the crusty crawlers chitin and you know um they assign marcus raider marcus to collect the materials um you'll have access to this once you've completed zorn's fortress so if you're not done with zorn's fortress i know somebody over there in the clan had just completed it and i think somebody in the chat too i want to say patrick r uh over on discord completed Zorn's fortress not too long ago so get up on you um you get to participate and get in pieces for this brand new armor which is awesome like free armor is the best armor free gear is the best gear and that's exactly what this is so um we'll get uh, more dialogue from raider marcus as well so um we'll have two attempts every day to try to collect these pieces um, we'll be facing hordes of Z creatures um, during these, which makes a lot of sense since the Crusty Crawler is the only armored Z enemy. Um, and uh, we'll need to destroy all the enemies of at least one wave. So from the sounds of this, it looks like there'll be multiple waves. I don't know if they will be never ending waves. But there'll be multiple ways, and as long as you clear at least one, you'll get some kind of rewards once Blake dies. So, um, each Crested Crawler killed in this will move you along the progress bar, bar, and once it hits a certain point, you'll be able to collect the rewards. So, the main key here, from what it sounds like, is kill the Crested Crawlers. Everything else can be left alone. So, um... The next item on here is is uh, uh, improvements coming in the next update. This will be represented by a visualization. So our weekly task, the Master of War, a task that we get that gives a crap ton of mastery points on top of chips and gems and all that other good stuff. Ooh, excuse me. Um will be shown w once you beat the stage so uh you don't have to go find the little bubble in the upper right to see your progress of <laughs> how many kills you got with that weapon uh they will actually start showing you at at the end of a stage and i do believe we have a screenshot of that which is really really nice and it, you know it lets you know if a weapon um is worth going for or not like i know right now this week i got my spec ops rifle um as one of them and yeah 
that I'm not killing anything with that. So, but if it's kind of like a got a weapon that's like aid rank but not leveled up, and and you want to see if you can actually get kills with it and if it was worth trying to complete during that week, you know, this will be a really good way to estimate how many kills you can get with that particular weapon. You know, um, so. Uh, I love that idea and it will help <laughs> help decide um, whether or not you should pursue your current uh, weekly task. So uh, since in base defense, so we'll be able to make uh, C400, C500, and C800 in the infantry slots. So where we put like the assassins and snipers and stuff like that, uh, we can actually put these synths in here. And the C900 can be used as an elite squad. So where we would put the commander, the suppressors, the engineers, you know, um, so. Uh, to make these we will not only need blueprints, but we will also need uh, Crystallite not only to make but to upgrade them as well. So it might be a while before they're up to par But but it will be well worth it. And as you can see here. Here is Blake fighting a full full squad of sense. So that looks like there's three C 500s out there, one or two C 800s, as you saw, one walking out there in, in the back, and then the C 900 right there. Wish they would show the C 400s. Um, I imagine since they are snipers, that you know it'll be two of those. And if you look at the left side of the screen right there before it ends, you can see another C 800 walking out. So if you use C-800s, you'll get at least two of those. I mean, the C-500s could be at least four, um, but we we know it's at least three. So, um, And we'll also be able to get chips for our base defense as well. Also, um, with the next update, we'll get new types of chips. Chips? Ah, ships. <laughs> we'll get new types of chips, and, you know, they'll be able to be produced at the workshop. You know, and I, they don't make it clear if, you know, this is going to be a separate to the chip that we already have or it's just going to be thrown into the pool of random chips that we can possibly get, you know, and they'll also be awarded from sabotage battles as well. You know, um, and the number of slots for the chips will depend on your level of scientific progress and the type of squad. So there'll be five chips total. And here is one of them in action. This actually repairs mechanical units. Like this is just insane. And it doesn't show the health bar of that Doberman turret, which I wish it did. Uh, so we could see how much it was he healing. It wasn't healing much, but it was enough to keep it alive for for longer than it should have been. You know, and then once those drones are done healing, they come down and crash on Blake. So, uh, the next item is the Dominion Mobilization. So, you'll be warned about upcoming mobilizations after the time runs out. Uh... In such a sector, a mission of several battles will emerge. Several battles. So this is not just beat one level and, and is over with. No, you'll have to fight multiple battles in these. So um, you'll be able to get a Dominion box as a reward. And I don't think they mentioned what's in these Dominion boxes. But I think it'll be similar to like what the... the um, uh, like dragon boxes or the executioner box would be which we can go get dominion blueprints you know for for the c400s 500s 800s and 900s which would be kind of cool you know and it'll make the effort worth it especially if you plan on making waves of of um sense and we, we have no idea what these caps are usually for the infantry units it's about three units for those the elite of course there's only going to be one but because they're dominion there might be different caps on them so we'll just have to wait and find out you know and on top of dominion 
becoming more active and more Dominion battles becoming available. They've already made some changes to Dominions, like giving countdown timers to some of them, and uh, the Abracnid will be one of them. You know, um, so once the timer runs out, uh, it will go into a rage and will leave energy zones on the ground that will last a little while. Um, so and these things are super dangerous so kind of like uh the suppressors um grenades that it shoots at you the fire grenades it shoots at you or or the uh super soldiers blue flame it likes to shoot once it's timer is down you know but that blue flame takes up your entire area i do believe we have a video of this arachnid energy zone um again they don't show a health bar here so we can't tell how much damage blake is taking but there he is flexing in that brand new crusted armor but look at those energy zones and that's not a small area i mean that's that was taken up to um barricades you know while overlapping so those <laughs> cover a very very wide area so something to look out for when facing the arachnids and then uh last but not least more more changes to the production queue or not the production queue but just production in general will we'll be able to add favors i mean it kind of existed um in the past where you put thumbs up on things but it's just to help you keep track of stuff uh, i hadn't noticed that they removed that but um yeah they're bringing it back and this just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me um if it will just like if it's favorited they will only show that on the list or you'll be able to go over to like a favorites list or if they'll like automatically queue them um if you have the resources and the available slots and you're not at a certain amount and so let's see here just random chip it does look like they're on their favorites page <laughs> right there by that little toggle switch so i mean it'll be a good track a good way to keep track and organize um everything so I hope you guys enjoy this update part and I'll see you in the second half of this video. Alright, so the second part of this video, we're gonna get through some Dominion stages. Uh just because of the lot of videos I've been going up. Uh do wanna try to get through five of these stages. Um but we'll just see how we're doing on time. We'll do we just might do uh three or four for now. So um now let's just get Dominion loadout set up here. I uh, don't want those. I need these. Bam. All right. So uh, for those of you who've already finished Annihilator, um, been over there on the Discord, like something's coming and it's not what I think it is, which is driving me crazy and it makes me want to hurry up in and get through annihilator i'm also working on a lore video for the red plague and everything it has and it came across some very very uh interesting things that i would forgot about like the final stage or uh the final battle with the dominion that the commander had happened right here at this annihilator cannon so um this is where the archhumans uh were introduced into this series as well so um there's tons of lore about all of that i'm sure you can scour the internet for all the information we're not going to go into it right here on this video um about the impact of all of that whoa 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 that's just not cool man and the snipers man they do a lot of damage i'm not trying to get hit by those snipers like for real <laughs> and no his head blew off all right there we go all right we got through that wall just cool. All right, these snipers gotta go. You're keeping me moving, and I don't like to keep moving. All right, so annihil or thermite. Oh no, I missed. I missed. Whoa, whoa, we barely got out of that one. Oh, another thermite. Thermite. Let's get it. Get it. Get it. Did I get it? Yeah. Boom. You saw it take out all those dominators, or not dominators, but uh, uh, dominion right next to it. Which, oh my gosh, this next update. Whoa. 
we can add these dominion troops to our ranks at at our base like that's gonna be insane <laughs> you know especially taking them on like i got the chimera ar as my main weapon so i'm not too worried about fighting them because i just know i already have the type advantage against them uh, however, for those of you who do not have the Chimera AR, you're, you're going to be sucking. Um, when it comes to base raids and you come across um, um, them uh, in base raids, uh, too bad that the Arachnid can't be an elite. That'd just be over the top ridiculous. You know, maybe at some point <laughs> that will happen, but for now it won't. Um, uh, I mean, that'd be a really, really nice addition. So, uh, woo! That thing almost got me. Almost, almost. Not close enough. Well, uh, for now we'll just have to live with the Z900 as an elite, which those things are pretty vicious and i'm pretty sure the machine gun does a lot more damage <laughs> per bullet than than the, uh an assault rifle and they also fire <laughs> bullets a lot faster than an assault rifle so um yeah i i think a lot of people are gonna struggle against the dominion once they start getting implemented in base race now remember you have to have crystallite to actually do this so for those of you who have not beat a uh, wormhole in the collector ship or the collector ship i should say because that's what gives you access to features if you've not beat collector ships strive strive before this update uh hits to get that done that way you have access to futurists and and start producing crystallite not only will that give you access to uh s rank weapons and gear but it will allow you to produce crystallite which is the single most important resource for in-game content right now um like i i can't stress enough how much crystallite you need it's ridiculous how much you need and just the fact even with all the speed boosts in and if you're on premium with with the three uh factory um slots going it still takes a total of 18 hours to max out on crystallite you know um if fortunately if you're not on premium and you only got that one slot going it's gonna take you forever you know, um, and while premium has been severely downgraded, and I can completely understand why, um, if you don't want to pay the shout out the six, seven bucks, whatever it is for it, you know, because it has been severely nerfed um, this past month or so. Um, but just for the three production slots alone, makes it worth it, especially when it comes to producing crystal light. Like, I. It, it, it's, it helps get that stuff done and get stuff upgraded faster. All right. <laughs> Let's get to this conversation. Um, Dispatcher Veronica. We haven't seen her in a while. Um, notice unusual Dominion activity. Um, all ears. The super heavy aerial object has been detected. Uh, has planned a retaliate retaliatory mission so an aerial object detected um <clears throat> while wow, the object is heading the opposite direction of the annihilator huh okay All right, so I if that's the object that they're shooting at, um, that just completely dispels any. Ooh, I love the lightning bolt. Did you see the lightning bolt? Oh, I love 
celestiality. Um, that was just another thing before July 30th. Get those lab lab uh, two uh, rewards done for everybody but the Dominion because they are nerfing those as well. So uh, they didn't say how many points we get. I imagine they'll just drop it to like one, two, and three uh, for the stuff. But, you know, that just makes the most logical sense in my mind. Um, but, yeah, uh, get it done because you'll no longer get those three and five rewards for tier two and tier three uh, mastery points for defeating enemies and getting crits against them and all that good stuff. Or destroying lucky enemies. Which, you know, some of these enemies are just going to be impossible for me. Like the stupid luck uh, size spiders. Like, you got to kill so many of them. So many of them. And, like, every time they show up, I target them. And get the kills on them. And it, it's still not enough. I think you need, like, 2,000, 3,000 of those things. And, yeah, there's a lot of size spiders. But not all of them are lucky. Like, I, I go whole... Um, uh, side missions without any, any, and I do mean any, uh, lucky side spiders, which is whack. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and there's just a bunch of other enemies just because, like, this week I've been in, in a lot of pain, um, and I haven't been... <laughs> worried about making content I, i've just been working on taking care of myself and making sure that i'm healthy and good and living um so i haven't been focused on videos this week which is why we're getting this massive update dump um here on this friday and and uh all that good stuff so i mean th there's times where like i've been logging in like once a day and knocking out the dailies like i've completed maybe a total of i don't know three rubicons this entire week you know i haven't completed any um um weekly task missions for the past two weeks that's how often i've been in and you can <laughs> confirm that with some of my clan members that I've not been on. I mean, I talk about it a little bit more over on Discord. So if you're not part of the Discord, link is in the description. Go check that out. Um, but yeah, I did, these past couple of weeks have just been really, really uh, rough on me. So, but uh, yeah, like there's just some enemies that don't pop up frequently enough, like the acid bombers or or the uh, crusted crawlers. You know, um, where you have to, like, make an active effort. I know there's a bunch of acid bombers and a, at least one crusted crawler uh, per tier 13 every week. And I've managed to do that this week. But for the past few weeks, I've gotten up to, like, wave 8 and just stopped. You know, when it comes to Citadel Defense. Actually, I think one of those weeks I might have went up to 12. Um, wave 12. But... You know, I, I haven't been completing the whole thing. And wave 13 is crucial because that's where all the asset bombers are. And that's where that um, um, crusted crawler is. So uh, with the crusted crawler event, yeah, there's going to be a lot more of them. But they're nerfing their rewards, uh, their mass rewards for killing them, which really, really sucks. You know, because it's not like they're a super common enemy to begin with. You know, and then now you're just going to nerf the reward on a rare enemy or the, nerf the mastery on a rare enemy. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's just really not fair to us. <laughs> you know, I'd, you know, kind of having flashbacks of, of the first game, like when they would release updates and nerf certain items or certain gear. It, 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 it's like, or, or, or change certain aspects of the game. It's like. Are you, are you freaking kidding me, man? You know, um, you're just making this harder and harder for us to play. You know, it, it, like I said way back when this game came out and these updates, well, not the first few updates, but it was like um, when I started doing a lot of the overhauls, I was like, now this, it feels like the per release of this was rushed. 
you know, and now we're finally getting the game that the devs actually wanted to release. So, you know, a lot of these changes just might have been what they had originally planned, but, but due to time constraints or whatever the case may be, uh, they cannot get those implemented. So, so uh, now... Now they have the time to implement them and they're getting the game to how they originally envisioned. You know, that's how I prefer to look at it. You know, um, who really knows what the devs had planned, you know, initially for this and for certain aspects of it. And, you know, they've been, they say they've been listening to our feedback and I, I, that's reflected for the most part when it does come to these, these updates and everything um they do take a lot of feedback from us and you know they're a lot more engaging with the community than they were to the first game i'll tell you that right now <laughs> but um again it, uh, ultimately all of the decisions of this game is up to the devs we'll do one more stage one more um and you know uh they had a vision when they started this project and and you know they're probably now just finally getting a chance to execute it you know or maybe it was they went with these numbers because it made sense at the time and now they're realizing there was way more than what they wanted to do and everything so yeah it sucks for us the player but but um it doesn't uh change the plans or it doesn't affect the devs the way we envision because or the way we imagine because you know this is probably how they had it originally set up you know and that's just not just this game but any game in general you know so um the minion ship stopped near sector 119 126 was there nothing it's an empty desert uh, 119, 126. We're gonna go check that out on the map uh, after this stage. Yeah. Um, something must be there. Mm. Uh, at the time we detected red faces activity in that sector. Uh, but unlikely events are linked. Um, they wouldn't send such a powerful vessel to fight marauders, huh? Red faces. What? What is that ship? What category? Uh, we have no direct visual contact, only data from our radars. They say it's a super heavy object. It's not a scout or an interceptor. All right, so that sounds like it could be like a cruiser or a battleship. You know, um, oh, uh, we'll see. This has me very, very intrigued as to what's out there. And like I said, uh, what was it, 126 or 119, 126? Uh, was the coordinates so we'll definitely go over to that on the map it could be that secret stage or that side mission that hasn't opened up yet you know which would be really cool and maybe this is alluding to the next update as well where the dominion will start trying to take over sectors that or try to reclaim sectors uh, that were once formerly theirs. So uh, right now there's only two, which is the Dominion's Gate. And once we get Annihilator completed, it will be Annihilator. So uh, they won't have very much option. But as more and more story uh, opens up and everything, um, they'll have a lot more options to invade. And there will just be a lot more to do. Which I really do hope they plan on upping the energy amounts you know especially for those that are not on on premium you know or lowering the, just the recharge time of energy because they're giving us a lot more stuff to do um but not necessarily giving us more energy to do all of those things and you know uh i've played on non-premium before and it kind of sucks, especially when you're used to playing on premium. Oh, my goodness. It's like, I want to go do this. I want to go do this. Mm -mm, no. All right. Energy capsule. Energy capsule. You know, um, for those of you who aren't paying for premium, I highly suggest start farming those co-op medals um, and start getting those capsules out of the co-op shop. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that way you have access to unlimited energy and i do plan on releasing it in unlimited resources um video here is sometime in the very near future 
I don't know when exactly uh, that will come out. I don't have an exact timetable on when that will come out, but um, it just has to relate to the co-op shop and the co-op medals. So, uh, like, co-op is such a huge, huge part of the game. Um, and you can get a lot done. You can stack up a lot of resources um, and practically get almost, almost anything you want uh, just via co-op medals and doing co-ops. Oh, the sniper, the sniper! I gotta avoid it one. I did not see that second one. When did that second sniper get out there? Like, I totally missed that second sniper. And she has her head blown off, so she's just firing random, so there's no point. Oh, that the C900. Like, I hate that. Like, why won't the... I wish they would change this targeting system. I really do. <laughs> uh, we've blown through a lot of med kits on this one. Oh, my gosh. That sniper got me again. Again. All right. So, now it's just the C900. Shouldn't be too much problems here. All right. He's nudging at us, which is even better because he's not going to have time to recover. From that, and uh, hopefully I killed him before I used another freaking med kit. <laughs> All right, so let's go check out those coordinates. I do believe it was 119, 126. And then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Again, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do want to become partnered with YouTube because that will just give me a lot more options to to deliver content to you all of you you know um and give me access to to tools and everything that i don't have access to at the moment so please please if you are not subscribed please subscribe you know it would help me out a whole lot and i would really really appreciate it and then again you can always follow zgc on social media platforms such as facebook and twitter um, um i hate reddit but i'm thinking about making a reddit here soon too so there's a bunch of ways to follow uh we here and there's a bunch of stuff I do post on on Discord and these other social media platforms that I don't necessarily put in videos just because there's no room for it or it's just like a one off thing like off banner pulls and DFFO or like acquiring a new piece of gear here in Evolution 2. You know, uh, just weird stuff like that. And, you know, I, I'm not a social media person. So I, I'm working on being more social media friendly, you know, but it's a process and it's taking a lot of mental work on my end and a lot of habit changes, you know. Um, and so, but I'm, I'm definitely, definitely working on it. And there's no way to tell what sector uh, these spars are. That's like kind of insane. Like I, I want the sector numbers. Um... Let's see. No, no, no. Um, what if we recall our, yeah, you just found a cache. So we can withdraw you and send you back out. Or withdraw. I'm just seeing if this will give us the, nope. Okay. Um, maybe if we click on the spots out here. No. They're not giving us any sector numbers except for this. So that's 84, 112. And we're looking at 119. We don't have a basis of if up is going up or down is going down. Like, I mean, I imagine just by giving the map that 119 would be somewhere up here, this area. And then 112, 119. So, like, I don't know, here maybe or over here, something like that. I did, I don't know. <laughs> maybe somebody who actually knows latitude, longitude um, on, on Earth service can give some more insight to that. But I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of this update news. Again, coming mid-July. So possibly next week this update is here. And get those two rewards done before July 30th. Because 
because they're gonna be seriously seriously nerfed um i hope you all have an awesome awesome day and i'll see you later gamer